HouseMD actually does clinic hours. Let's see some of his wildest encounters. My asthma. They said they'd fix it, but it didn't make any difference at all. Asthma step up plan. If you're using your rescue inhaler too often, AKA your albuterol, you might need a controller medication to prevent the asthma attacks from happening. Some people have specific triggers that they can avoid, or they can take medicines targeting those triggers. You like to think about allergy medicines for that. You could take your traditional antihistamines or maybe even a medication like Singular. You gotta think outside the box with asthma. Are you using your inhaler? All the time, go through one a week. You sure you're using it right? A lot of patients, especially children, tend to not use it correctly because they weren't properly educated. They would benefit from a spacer. This is what a spacer looks like. <laughs> ah! Come on, there's images on the bottle of what you're supposed to do. That's never gonna happen. Experiencing fatigue and, and weakness. Usually he's stronger than an ox. 102 year old ox. <laughs> 102 year old ox. An elderly ox. It's tingling in his feet and his legs. I want a full battery of tests. Well, maybe we want to check if he's diabetic, uh, because in that case, you could treat that and you could change quality of life tremendously. It's nice of you to float your friend. He's not my friend, he's my father. He's 22 years older than me. Well, that's true. He's definitely had his jowls done. Statistically, if he didn't have these symptoms, he'd be like most people of his age, dead for the past several decades. Do the tests, I'm sick. You have a bad case of natural causes. First of all, he should do some tests, but I wonder what they think it is. That's like one of the first questions I ask as a doctor. He's 102. His next test is an autopsy. Look, I, I love the old man, but I gotta get him out of the damn house. He needs to be in a care facility. Well, so tell him, he's a big boy now. That's very generous, when you were 30. Pretend to run the tests. We don't do that. <laughs> you can't bribe doctors to give you the results that you want. Doctors really shouldn't be accepting gifts. I think it's over $30. I think that's what our tests say. When a patient bakes you a cake, it's fine. But if a patient bakes you a cake with gold flakes on it, you have to say no. I love him, but he can't let go. 40 bucks says he can. I can't do anything without him helping me like I'm senile. <laughs> You're gonna give him five bucks. I don't give him a hundred. Skip the blood work. Tell my son it's grim news. I need to be in a nursing home. I think that's actually a diss. If a patient thinks they can buy you, that means you're sending off the wrong signals. And if two patients <laughs> think they can buy you, that means you probably should be retiring. Test results. <laughs> it's my recommendation that you move into a home with round the clock care. I can't believe it. Can't my son give me round the clock care? Not unless you've done your two year certification in Tipuron swab technology. Tipuron what technology? <laughs> it's made up. Just because he has a little tingling and some trouble feeling hot and cold. That's the spinal, oh my God. The Thalmic pathway of the spine. God, I don't remember the pathways anymore. Show me your denture cream. He has zinc poisoning. To get it from denture cream, you have to take so much of it. Trust me, he never leaves home without it. How much do you use, Pop? About a tube a day. So it explains all your symptoms. Medically, there's no reason to go anywhere. He solved the case that the patients didn't want solved. You're not pregnant. Well, I told you that. You were pregnant. Based on your hormone levels, you've had a miscarriage. Well, that could happen. We can see that, yeah. I haven't even been on a date. Right. Since it's physically impossible to have sex without someone buying you dinner. I haven't had sex. Fine. Have it your way. Immaculate conception. Or how about this, Dr. House? The patient has a tumor that's secreting the hormone that you think is responsible for her lost pregnancy, and you think about her cancer potential diagnosis instead of assuming she's a liar. What do I do? Well, it's obvious. Start a religion. Re take birth control if you truly believe that she was pregnant as a result of sexual activity. Just got your results back. No GHB, no nothing. Means you're having sex and you're lying about it. No, I haven't had any in over a year. I just wake up really exhausted. Oh my God, is she sleepwalking? My ex lives in the apartment downstairs. He's always calling me, always wanting to get back together, complaining about mixed signals. We have a sleep lab in the basement. 
Nothing else will get you away from your ex for a night. See, when I send patients to a sleep lab, it's usually to diagnose sleep apnea, which is basically where you stop breathing for a period of time, and as a result, you wake up, and you're not really able to get good quality sleep. And as a result, you get increased risk of all these other conditions, like hypertension, cardiac disease, even diabetes in some cases. These were your brain waves at 2.45 a.m. Uh, here it comes, there's an abrupt jump from slow wave sleep. This indicates partial sleep arousal. The most common type is somnambulism, sleepwalking. That would explain why I'm so tired when I wake up. Yes, and also why you were pregnant. I had sex in my sleep. Only in a medical drama. No formula, just mommy's healthy natural breast milk. I hope you also supplement with vitamin D, 400 IU or 10 micrograms. Her whole face just got swollen like this overnight. Mm -hmm. Maybe a little slap cheek, a little parvovirus, B19. No fever, glands normal. <laughs> did, he, did he go? G glands normal? My guy, feel the glands! Vaccination dates. We're not vaccinating. House, please handle this with some empathy. Please, empathetic approach. Think they don't work? I think some multinational pharmaceutical company wants me to think they work. Pad their bottom line. Mm -hmm. You know another really good business? Teeny tiny baby coughs. <laughs> She has a menstrual problem. They're really bad. The pain keeps her in bed all day. Plus, she's super depressed. A red nose could be a sign of a viral illness, perhaps allergies, frequent rubbing. Also, patient looks a little bit pale. Heavy menses with menstrual pain could be related to fibroids. She wants birth control pills for her PMS. I guess. Or is she pregnant? Judging by the redness around your mom's nostrils and the tissue she's got conveniently stashed in her wristband, I'd say her problem is more likely a URI. A URI? Upper respiratory infection. Well, upper respiratory infection. I also think she's got a problem with SAC. SAC? Stupid American child. If you want the pill, all you have to do is to walk into any health clinic in Jersey alone and ask for it. How in the world did he know this? I would rack my brain for days trying to help the patient. He just assumes the worst. How do you even function this way? Is that for a cold? No, that's for your ovaries. I assume you haven't had a stroke. Have you ever had a blood clot? No. Super. Also, ask if she smokes, Dr. House. That's important. She's been taking the decongestants, but she's not getting better. She also so says. What? Her boobs are bigger. Is she taking the birth control? How could you get them mixed up? They come in a little wheel. They don't look anything like decongestants. No, you gave her the wrong pills. You speak Mandarin. <laughs> what is happening in this episode? He speaks every language. He knows every body part. He knows every snake poison and rat toe. So when did this start? A couple weeks ago. I didn't want to get pregnant. Jake's not into rubbers, so I got on the jelly. You have an infection. I need a sample. I brought the jar. Wait, she literally is putting jelly? Okay, we have a neurological problem here. <laughs> There's something wrong with my brain? Oh yeah, okay, I'm gonna give you some antibiotics. You probably shouldn't have sex for a while. How long? On an evolutionary basis, I'd recommend forever. So mean. I think it goes without saying, but strawberry jelly is not a birth control option. Never thought I'd say that on this channel, but it's not. I ranked every medical drama, see where House MD falls on the list, and as always, stay happy and healthy. It's important, I said it. <laughs>